Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today we are going to talk about the hundred and freaking twenty dollar foundation from La Mer. Guys, I've been trying this for like half of a year. When I bought it, I thought I'll try it for about a month or so. That's usually what I do, and then I'll review it. I tried it for about a month, and I thought I don't know how I feel about this because it's not like it's a ten dollar foundation from the drugstore that I can say actually it's pretty good. It's worth ten bucks. Go ahead and try it. No, this is a hundred and at the time it was one hundred and ten. Now it's under freaking twenty dollars on Sephora's website. So I was like, I don't feel right doing a video yet because I don't feel like I know if it's worth it or not. You know, that should have told me everything I needed to know right then and there because I tried it for you know five six more months and I still feel the same way. And I'm like, that's that's all I need to know. How could it be worth one hundred twenty dollars if you don't feel like you try it and your skin glows? Like it's from the freaking heavens, right? Like $120, the foundation should put itself on, should never run out, and I should look like a glowing goddess for 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like $120. I did it in the name of science. And it's good, but it is not worth that price. And let me tell you a little secret. Come closer. Come here. Come here. I found a dupe. And I have not heard anyone mention this particular dupe. And I think it is the best dupe because I've been trying a lot of these alongside. And this one, I'm going to show you. Half of my face right now is La Mer and the other half is this drugstore dupe. Can you tell which? You might know it from the thumbnail depending on what I did. Let's talk about La Mer and then I'm going to tell you about the dupe. Just wait. I promise. It's good. So it's 120 bucks. It has 20 shades, at least on Sephora's site. And let me read you their claims and I'll tell you if I think it lives up to the claims. And yes, I'll show you me applying this and the dupe side by side. It says it's got medium coverage. I will agree with that, medium coverage for sure. Um, it's good for all skin types, normal, dry, combo, oily. And it says to shake well. And then of course you can, you know, apply it how you want. It says it's got a natural finish and here's what it says. What it does. The silky weightless formula creates a beautifully natural finish and helps skin maintain balance throughout the day. The long wearing natural flexible coverage makes pores and imperfections virtually disappear. The skin is visually plumped with hydration and lines and wrinkles appear softened. Miracle broth. I haven't read this before. The healing force that flows through all of La Mer hydrates, energizes, and soothes. Sea sourced soft velvet ferment softens for a flawless finish while SPF and antioxidants protect. Color capsule technology helps color stay true even in humidity. So it does not have parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. Um, and again, it's got SPF 20. So I will agree, medium coverage. Definitely more of a natural finish. You can see a little bit of your glow from behind it, which I love. And it's definitely a little bit buildable. I feel like when you first put it on, it's kind of light to medium, and then you can build it up to about medium. Again, I have it on my face on this side. Um, I love the packaging. It's this nice glass, kind of frosted glass packaging, a really nice pump. You can control how much comes out. But the dupe I have found is this Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex. It says, again, for all skin types. Also, SPF 20 says to shake before using it. Um, so this says it is packed with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage infused with Chinese Wu Zhu Yu extract and the sodium salt of hyaluronic acid to brighten, hydrate, and even your skin tone. Ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, breathable. These look exactly the same on the skin, you guys. I cannot stress that enough. It has a giant doe foot applicator, which I know a lot of people are like, ew. It's the same as like concealer. Most concealers, one of you guys commented this and I was like, you're so right. Concealer, most of them have doe foot wands and you're putting it on your face. And so many people with foundations like this are like, ew, it's a doe foot you're putting on your face and putting it back in. I'm like, but it is like concealer. You do the same thing with concealer, right? Um, so it doesn't bother me, but this is the physician's formula. The tones or the colors aren't exactly the same, um, but they are so, so similar on the skin. I think the La Mer might be slightly thinner, but the coverage and the wear time and all of that is exactly the same. You guys, you can save over $100 buying the physician's formula one. It's crazy. And you know, I get it. Like. I was so excited to buy the La Mer one because I was like, oh my gosh, it's so bougie. Like I feel so fancy like traveling with this and having it in my bag. And like when I travel, I would want to bring this because I'm like, it's so nice. And you know that feeling like if you have something really nice, you feel like a certain way. I can't explain it. Snobby, snooty, bougie, is that it? But all of that aside, at the end of the day, if it doesn't look great on your skin, who cares? Now, this one actually does look good on your skin. But it doesn't look any better than this, you know, $12 one from the drugstore. So it's like, 
really you're just spending your money on the name and the packaging and that feel you get using something bougie. But I've been using this bougie product for six months and I'm no better for it. You know what I mean? So this is really good and I like the application method of this better too. So now that you've kind of seen it on my face, let's go into a wear test of this so you can kind of see how it wears throughout the day. <sighs> it's about time. <laughs> I need to wash this makeup off. Um, so I have this like really close up mirror here and I was looking really closely in it to see like, okay, do I notice anything weird going on? They both look really good. I'm like ready to hate on it. Like even if you saw my, the Revlon video I mentioned um, earlier and I did check-ins in that and I'm like, I feel like my face with this stuff on both sides versus like my face in that, like this is like the most flawless look I, I ever have. Does that make sense? I feel like the La Mer side looks really good. The Physician's Formula side looks really good. I was trying to see like if there's any like, like lots of oil breaking through on either side. There's really not, I mean, it's equal, I would say. And to me, like, I like that level of like life in my face. I know some people like super matte, but this is like exactly the level I like. So, and again, keep in mind, I put this on at three and it's about 10, so seven hours. I would say it's kind of like living through a work day. We went outside, we went on a walk, so we were in the wind and the elements, and then I made dinner, we ate dinner, all of that, so it's kind of withstood all of that, and I feel like I just really like the look of both, but again, you can really save the money, like hundred over $100 worth, and get the cheaper one because it looks just as nice. Oh my gosh, and it's easier to apply. I like the applicator better. After I filmed that last portion of the wear test, I realized that none of my mic was recording any of the footage I filmed earlier. So actually all that you've seen of me sitting here has been after that last wear test. It's like 10 something PM. So um, you're seeing me now. I didn't touch up my face at all. The only thing I touched up was my lips. So I like I reapplied. So my face is exactly how it is at like 10 p.m. and I applied it originally when you saw it like 3 p.m. So I hope that you enjoyed and that this review was helpful for you. If you enjoy dupes, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know and I can work on more of them. I'm working on more of like a, a collective dupe video of like five dupes, actually it might be more, that I like really good dupes that I found that I've not heard anyone mention. Um, and I have done some recent dupe videos, so I will link those below and up in the cards if you want to watch more of them so you can save a ton of money. I work really hard on finding really good dupes for you guys. So other than that, I hope you'll subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.